Alright beautiful Pisces, so this is your second reading of the day and we're looking at the Queen of Wands. Who is the Queen of Wands? She is popular, she is fun, she's supporting, she's creative, she's vibrant, inspirational, she's like the flame um, of excitement. She's joyful, um, she's inspiring, she's confidence. You can feel this when she walks into a room. Right? She owns it. But she's also the element of risk. She is like the one who's going to go for it. Absolutely. In all the queens, she has the most, I guess, masculine energy, which is weird to say, in all the queens because she's just vibrancy, right? She shimmers. She's fire. So, we're going to look at this because this is your creative block. We had to hear it yesterday. Um, Speaking of traditions, you know, stick with what is. There's traditionally safe, and then there's um, chaos and adventure, right? Which is not safe. So she represents that part. That part that's trying to break free from you, Pisces. Um, our inner child has a lot of that. And, uh, right, oh, look at that, mirror effect. So... Your child has a lot of that kind of energy, right? They're fearless. They do a lot of things. They're joyful. They do what they like. They're not so much for responsibility. But what we're breaking out of right now is the conventional. The stuff that you've been taught to prioritize, to put importance to. High Priestess, she came out earlier. She's telling you, follow your intuition. The Ace of Wands. And your intuition is telling you to follow over the fire, okay? I I know I keep repeating myself, but I did tell you this year that we were going to turn fire. So, it's time to take a chance. It's time to be bold. No being afraid of winners and losers. There's always winners and losers. And if you see life as winning and losing all the time, I'm here to tell you it's not going to serve you it's not going to serve much of a purpose, and it's not going to serve you. You have the magician here. The magician, well, he has all the tools, right? All of these lessons, everything you learn, is here to teach you something. Three of Cups. Reconnect the masculine, feminine, and spirit to what you need to follow your dreams. There's that hierophant. See? Mm-hmm. He's coming in to tell you. Four of Coins, playing it safe. Ace of Swords, bringing clarity. I can't. I can't. Okay? I just cannot. I just cannot. Okay. So, Pisces, I put all the cards for you. Not bad, right? It's not that far into it. So you get a lot of complaining. Why don't you just pull all the cards? Especially by new people. I know. So you have 13, 4. Number of stability. Like that. So I'm going to read you what your soul wants you to know. The voice of the soul. This is mirror effect. And we had, remember self-reflection. I got stuck on that card at the beginning of the week. It's like, why is this card? They're, they have a mirror, they have water, reflecting surfaces, but all of the figures, our eyes are closed. Because this isn't about what you've learned. It isn't about who you perceive yourself to be by everything that you've been so far. It's going inside and finding that creative being that beautiful Queen of Wands, that shimmering, creative, and vibrant energy, and bring it to life. All right, so let's see. Your soul. Oh. Today I invite you to become aware of the mirror effect. I invite you to become aware 
of this effect. What you reproach others or life for is what you are actually reproaching yourself for. You see others from your own standpoint. And right now you're an energy in which you can see yourself as you truly are. Part of you may be having trouble doing this, which is why you externalize without guilt. Look at yourself with fresh eyes. Analyze what you see. This will help you gain new knowledge of yourself, as well as new and positive energy. Do this confidently and benevolently. You will learn and understand some important discoveries. There you go. So it is. Ex it, it's telling you exactly, exactly that, right? Take a closer look. Don't reflect outwardly. Reflect inwardly. Yes, and we were talking about covert, right? Covertly and overtly, like yesterday. So it's you. <laughs> You have to, actually, it was this one. So, it all it's all linking together, Pisces. The High Priestess, she is the one who closes her eyes and lets intuition come in. The higher, um, the inner wisdom, the higher uh, self. To trust your intuition, to seek answers within the self. This is all this, right? The answers are, you need to be vibrant. You need to reach for that flame, for that spark. You need to be inspired to begin something new. You can't just rehash the same old stuff. Yes, you're afraid of the wins and the losses, but the wins and the loss, I wish they would change that. I wish I, I wish they could change it to, today I moved forward and today I had to look at something again. That would be so much easier than today I failed to move forward and today I succeeded at moving forward. Instead is today I move forward and today I learned something how to move forward. Okay? I, I, I wish so hard that people could see life this way. It would be so much easier, right? Then we could see life as a whole bag of tools that's just being offered to us repeatedly through our journey and we wouldn't be held back by people saying oh well you know what happened last time you failed this is why we traditionally do this this way do you or is it because it just feels safe safe is good for a time but safe does not lend itself to expansion You need to put a little water into your wine. You need to spread it around. You need to reconnect with all the parts of you that are actually going to produce something in the end that's going to make your dreams and your wishes come true. Tradition, and even this one, I love it, his head's bowed. He's not seeing. He's not like the king of swords that's seeing above and and what everything else that's out there. He's stuck in his own little thing. He's looking at his... His people, you know, taking his teachings, but he's not receiving. They're so much smaller than he is, right? You need to experience a contrast of things in order to expand and grow. That's the way life goes. The Four of Coins is, is in control of things. And what you have to realize that you don't really. Having too much control on things makes the picture smaller. You shut doors that could be open to you, that could offer up so much more. The Queen of Wands is here to tell you, take a chance, okay? Go ahead and sign up for that adventure. Try something new. Absolutely. Okay? This looks like it's okay. And this hand is being helpful, trying to give 
a place for things to grow. But if everything kind of keeps growing in the same spot, the hand will disappear. You will lose yourself in this resistance. Your true self. And what happens then? Well, that hand's going to get uncomfortable. The lightning bolt is going to strike, you name it, whatever you want to call it. Things are going to shake. Things are going to move. And regardless of how much you tell yourself you don't want things to change, you want things to stay safe, somewhere deep inside of you, there is a Queen of Wands, a beautiful, vibrant soul energy that needs to shake the tree, that needs to do something different. Okay? Pisces. Now, if you didn't take heed, as I told you last week, and said to start moving, to start taking steps, again, this is now, because as Libra comes in, it's going to feel the imbalance. It's going to feel you either this way, and some people it could be the other way. Like, we're talking about taking chances, but some... But some if you, if you do too many things without planning, it's going to blow up in your face. If you do nothing but just plan, it's going to blow up in your face. You need to bring a balance to things. And you need to make it fun. You need to bring in people to help you with the parts that they like doing. You do the parts that you like doing. You mix it up. I was talking, make a soup. Make a soup. Mix it all up together. And see what it tastes like. You may be surprised of what you've just created. Admire your own persistence. Take the steps forward you need. You'll get to flying. But you gotta start by crawling, to walk, to run, to fly. Okay, Pisces? So, don't look for external validation. You have to find all of this within yourself. The Queen of Wands offers adventures and vibrancy, but you need to take a chance, and you need to reflect from within. You need to grab the opportunities. You need to see everything as an opportunity to learn and grow, and that the tools are going to come to you. You need to see and look above and beyond what you just see in front of you. Things will clear up and you will be able to take that adventure. Don't try to control anything too much. It seriously narrows your view. And always follow. Follow your star. Follow your goal. Follow your wishes. All right, Pisces. I'm going to let you go with this. Tomorrow we're going to look at your past. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. Take good care of yourself and see you tomorrow.